Government clarifies de-reservation policy after a pro over UGC draft guidelines. NARC introduces binary accreditation system for higher education institutions. Chandigarh tops country in higher education enrollment. Ireland to hold virtual education fair for study abroad aspirants on 8th February. IIT Kanpur organizes blood donation camp on 75th Republic Day. Good afternoon warm welcome you are watching the education news network where you get the latest developments in education at the top of this hour. This is Shilpa reporting from the education news network. Today's stories are the Education Ministry and UGC clarified that there will be no de-reservation of reserved faculty positions in centrally funded universities following backlash over draft guidelines suggesting such a possibility. The draft proposed opening unfilled quota vacancies for SC, CENT, OBC candidates to general candidates in rare cases, sparking concerns over diluting affirmative action. UGC chairman assured that historical practices of not de-reserving positions will continue and emphasized filling backlog positions in reserved categories. The inclusion of a de-reservation chapter in the draft was to consolidate existing provisions, not to implement de-reservation. This clarification aims to uphold affirmative action principles in higher education. The inclusion of a de-reservation chapter in the draft aimed to consolidate existing provisions, not to implement de-reservation. This clarification aims to uphold affirmative action principles in higher education and address concerns raised by various stakeholders. The National Assessment and Accreditation Council NAC, has introduced major reforms in accrediting higher education institutions HEIs, in India. Under the new system, institutions will be classified as either accredited or not accredited, replacing the previous grading system. Additionally, a maturity-based grading system ranging from 1 to 5 will be implemented for accredited institutions, aiming to incentivize them to achieve higher standards. These reforms emphasize quality enhancement, global alignment, outcome-focused assessment, centralized data management, stakeholder involvement, and support for rural institutions. Institutions will now be classified as either accredited or not accredited with an additional maturity-based grading system. This shift aims to enhance quality, align with global practices, and encourage institutions to strive for excellence. The reforms emphasize outcome-focused assessment, a centralized data platform, stakeholder involvement, and support for rural institutions. The GAVE, which covers the 18-23 to 23 demographic, is a key indicator of the level of participation in higher education within a given population. Higher GAVE values indicate greater enrollment among the specified age group. GAVE for ASHA 21-22 to 22 has been calculated on population projection derived from the 2011 census. UT girls fare better in the numbers, with 75.4% being enrolled for higher education as compared to 56.8% boys. While gay for girls is highest among all states and UTs, Puducherry's 61% figure for boys tops the charts with Chandigarh coming in second. For the city's scheduled caste youth, the total gay is 53.4%, 53.7% for boys and 52.9% for girls. Education in Ireland, the flagship initiative representing Irish higher education globally, has announced study in Ireland virtual fair for students hailing from India, Nepal, Bangladesh, and Sri Lanka. The education fair is scheduled for 8 February. It aims to provide students with a platform to explore a wide range of educational opportunities with 14 renowned Irish higher education institutions, according to an official statement. In addition to facilitating chat and video interactions, the fair will include three discipline-specific seminars with faculty and a dedicated alumni session. Ireland's provision of a two-year stay-back visa and its offering of industry-led courses in emerging fields like robotics and aviation contribute to its popularity as a study abroad destination, according to an official statement. The Indian Institute of Technology, IIT Kanpur, in collaboration with Rotary Club of Kanpur Shorya and Blood Connect, organized the Diamond Jubilee Mega Blood Donation Camp on the Republic Day. The blood donation was held at Yoga Hall, GH1 and Hall 12 of IIT Kanpur. The camp was a coordinated effort from IMA Charitable Blood Bank, GSVM Medical College Blood Bank, Sham Bihari Tiwari Charitable Blood Center and the Stairs Charitable Blood Bank. As many as 355 members registered for the blood donation camp. A total of 316 units of blood was collected, of which 113 units of blood were donated at Yoga Hall location, 51 units of blood were donated at GH1, 52 units of blood were donated at Hall 2 and 100 units of blood were donated at Hall 12. From Raktarpan, IIT Kanpur, Akshat Jain, Mitali Khetan, 
and Rita Swaroop Singh coordinated the event. Additionally, volunteers included Dhruv Bansal, Mohan Rajput, Shubham Maurya, Harsh Kumar, Isha Sehre, Surya Shukla and Sameer Kashyap. The event witnessed the presence of Rotarians from the Rotary Club of Kanpur Shorya, including Charter President Amitabh Gupta, Club President Rajesh Kapoor, Amit Mitra, Bhupesh Srivastava, Dr. Swapna Maurya, Pradeep Gupta, Ajay Agrawal, Ajay Srivastava, Pankaj Kapoor, Deepak Malve, and Harish Bhatia. Volunteers from Blood Connect included Tushar Basak, Manu Srivastava, Abhimanyu Jain, Rameshwar Lokhande, and Kanish Maheshwari. That's all for today. Thank you for watching Education News Network. For more such videos, log on to our website www.educationnewsnetwork. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.